Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at how to update the firmware on our Coal Engine P2, formerly known as the Superscaler. And it's going to be very similar to the Superscaler models, uh, as well as the Coal Engine, so the steps are pretty much the same. And I just wanted to show how you can actually update the firmware on these devices if there is a firmware update in the future. Right now, at time of filming, there isn't, but at least want to showcase the steps for future updates that might come out from the team. Now, Coal Engine has their own website uh, where they showcase uh, the devices. And as mo what's most important is the contact information. But a huge shout out to JingleMind.com, who is uh, today's video sponsor, because they allowed us to get our hands on this particular device that you can buy right now through their website, um, as well as test and tune and get all that information that I wanted to about this particular one. But we need to go down to their website and click on the setup tutorial and form firmware download. And here is all the firmware that we have, right? So again, there's the P2G uh, and then it's the P2-X. We have the X variant, so you want to click on this, download and have that RAR or zipped file on standby, as well as the P2 tool, which, as I mentioned in previous video, is in all Chinese. Um, and I had to utilize the American or the English version K10 tool in order to translate some of the buttons if not use your phone and the uh the google translate with the camera option to help you out but here on the k10 tool i choose uh, the k103 from the drop down that's the only way i could find a device hit okay that window's going to open up you can see all the buttons are in english but i do all my actual adjustments uh whether it's to update my firmware swap the algo image i do it all in the p2 tool so we're going to set that there you can see it's all in chinese and of course, as usual, we want to go to IP change, which is the third tab in the first row. So third tab, first row, here it is. And we want to put in our first IP of that subnet or network, as well as the default gateway of that network or subnet. And then click this button on the far right here. This is what it looks like on the English version. You can see here it's starting IP address and then gateway and then start revise. When we hit start revise, this little window pops up. We click OK. Another window pops up. We're going to click OK. I believe this says OK right here as well. And then now we can go to the main tab on the first row and click start scan. First uh, first row, start scan machine right here. So now it detects the machine. And now we can do start up status. So I want to see what the current status of the miner is. And it's going to load up a bunch of parameters. Just making sure that we're online. We're online uh, hashing on Carlson hash. Our temperatures are 39, roughly 34 degrees Celsius. We're doing about 34 giga hash on Carlson, so on and so forth. More stats to the right that I talked about in a previous video. Now we need to update this miner. So that is going to be the second tab in the first row. Update and set. And here it is. At the very tippy top, we have the area where we can change the algorithm right here. Right, so that's all here in Chinese, but that's the first section. The second section is the Raspberry Pi firmware. I believe that is where we're gonna need to update our firmware, but obviously we need to make sure that we got it from the Jingle Mining website, which would be in this package. So as long as we have that unzipped somewhere, we're good to go. And there are some steps to it. Now, first off, you may not get this off rip. Now, Jingle Mining does provide it to us under the product page, but it says here, uh, that if we need to, you know, get that information to basically reach out to the co legend team, it says to contact sales, technical support personnel to obtain the releases for corresponding devices. So I'm assuming when there is a new firmware update or maybe a new algorithm added in the future, that Jingle Mining should hopefully provide that to us. And it says can contact us by email or obtain relevant information. You can see here on the left hand side their Twitter, their Telegram, uh, so on and so forth. I believe this is WhatsApp at the bottom here. Other methods will be updated in the future, so probably how we would update our firmware or the, our devices' algorithms in the future will probably be updated, at least the process will. A brief description of the release package, and then it tells us about the management tool. Now, I'm not going to read this to you. I'm just going to go through it. But basically, we go to the Upgrade and Settings tab, which we're already on. We make sure that our IP is selected, which we already did. And now we need to go to that section, right, where it talks about Raspberry Pi firmware update. And we need to specify that path, right? So we're going to click Browse. That's what it translates to. So the second section, Raspberry Pi firmware update section, we're going to click Browse. And then we need to go and find where that firmware is. I'm going to select this folder, the S uh, 
213B underscore V3. Hit OK. There we go. And then let's see what the next button is. So it says use PC global dot CSV. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Maybe uh, I'm pretty sure that's not necessary, but we want to hit the button to the right of it that says start update, which is right here. And that will allow us to update the firmware of this device. So let me go ahead and run that. Let me double check the information. So browse. All right. Choose the firmware. We did that. All right, cool. That's good. Finally, check the start update button and a status bar on the right will display the upgraded status. After the upgrade is completed, the tool will pop up the dialog box indicating the firmware upgrade is complete. So I'm assuming it's going to be in Chinese, so I won't be able to see that, um, but we should get an updated status once we're done. So let's go ahead and do this now while I got you guys right here with me. So we're going to hit this button. All right, that says, well, I don't know what it says. Let me translate it for you. So it says confirm to start firmware upgrade. So hit OK on that. Let's see if we get another pop up. Meanwhile, on this one, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the same information that we need because I like to use the uh, English version to keep an eye on or monitor what is going on. So let's go ahead and scan machine. There it is. Startup status. There we go. So it did get a communication. I probably missed it. Okay, yep, communication manager. Not sure what the rest of that says. Let's see here if I can focus in on it. It says manager cannot connect. So the last little bit of Chinese language translates to cannot connect. Probably because it's doing a firmware update on the Raspberry Pi. And I can't do anything. So it's in, it's in, it's in the progress right now. So let's just let it ride. Okay, so there's a status up here in the top right. When I translate it, it says retooling the Raspberry Pi. So it's in progress right now. This is the status you want to keep an eye on. And I did just get a pop-up right here. And that translates to firmware upgrade complete. So we hit OK on that. Let's go back to the K10 tool. There we go. That error... I think that there is no error that that language right there translates to no errors. Yep, that's exactly right. It's loading whatever the default settings are, right? The Carlson. So it's still got the Carlson image loaded right here. And it's probably going to default uh, a couple other things now that we installed the firmware. I wonder if it's going to maintain the same pools that we had. Let's go to the pool set section. Let's go to read parameter. And yeah, it kept my pool. So it just reprogrammed the firmware on the Raspberry Pi, but it didn't change the pool settings, the algo settings, any of that stuff. So that's good to see. So we should spinning up. Yep, we're spinning up Carlson Hash right now. And that is how you update your firmware. Very easy. Update tab. Make sure you have the right firmware. You browse for it. You go to wherever it is. And then you hit this button right here, which basically just states to start the update. Be patient. The status will load over here on the right-hand side, and then you are good to go. Hopefully, there'll be some firmware updates and optimizations in the future, but I just want to do this quick video focusing on just the firmware updates, just as so I've done with how to update pools, how to update algorithms, so on and so forth. Uh, and I thank you so much for stopping by. If you've got any useful information out of this video, please let me know down in the comments below, or let me know your thoughts about this particular FPGA device down in the comments as well but that is going to do it for today thank you so much for stopping by do me a favor on the way out hit the like button make sure to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out additional links in the description to help support this channel uh and what we do here and you just have yourself a wonderful day take care i'll catch you next one